Okay, the second one's on the hand collar. It's gonna be thumb up. Okay, whenever you see the thumb up here, uh, it's called tops. It's a standing kimura. So when I'm sliding here, uh, I want to get a C clamp on my first, uh, sorry, on my first grip here. I'm gonna hold it like a coffee cup or whatever you want to call that part. The second hand is always gonna be without your thumb, so you put all your four fingers together. Okay, and we're gonna push the elbow up. My same side leg is gonna step through first. If you're shorter, it's better to reach across and hold the opposite shoulder, the shoulder. If you're a taller guy, you can grab your neck, you can have a little bit of drag. Depends on your, your height. So if, if you need to drop to the ground, you can take behind the knee. Um, all that's kind of finishing the So when I'm here, I hold the seat clamp on the first grip and the monkey paw on the second grip. You're gonna push your elbow up and step through. Okay, if you're um, if you're in a case where the guy's a lot stronger than you and you're the weaker person, uh, kids versus adults, women versus men, uh, when I start pushing my elbow up here, I'm going to connect this elbow to my hip line so that as I step, my hips will push the elbow up here and then my second leg is going to slide through everything the same at that point. But that's a smaller and a weaker and a stronger person scenario. Here, I make my monkey paw up push here, I connect my elbow to my hip line, so that as my hips slide through, my hips do more of the work, and I'll slide through and get our uh, top here. Are we got it? One, two, three.